uh, the initial just cursory look, uh, there wasn't any real apparent signs of any trauma, no apparent gunshot wounds. Um, we're speculating a bit here, but it could be that the individual was a, a homeless individual. Uh, sometimes it's not uncommon for them to uh, be looking for trash or food or other things within trash cans um, and, or dumpsters, and then something could have happened um, and, and, you know, uh, just eventually just the you know the was picked up and, and moved here this is a transfer facility so basically what happens here is different dump trucks come bring debris here it's dropped here at the station from here then 18 wheelers or more larger trucks will come and pick up that debris and then take it to actual landfills or other facilities but that's that's what we have right now how long ago would it have been uh, I'm sorry, how, how long would that body have been in there? Do we know what kind of the, the initial information that we're receiving, again, all this is still preliminary uh, until a uh, uh, medical examination is conducted. We believe it could have been as early as this morning. And perhaps that's why they located it, because it would still, you know, maybe on top of the pile instead of deeper, and, and, and the body still seemed to be fairly intact. So we're, we're going with the assumption that, the belief that it could have been as early as this morning. What kind of clothing or anything? Can you tell us your uh, believe uh, shorts and a, and a t-shirt is what I was told, uh, but we'll get a better description. But I was told uh, shorts is, is what the individual was wearing. Sheriff, how difficult is it going to be to get the answers that we need? Uh, probably not very difficult uh, because, you know, we'll be able to um, hopefully uh, identify who the individual is. Um, I believe he did have some type of identification on his person, didn't have much other than that. Um, and so uh, hopefully we could confirm that it is indeed, you know, the individual that matches that, that um, identification and then obviously through prints and other things that the uh, Institute of Forensic Sciences does. You know, we want to give him time to confirm that and not just assume that because he has it in his pocket that it belonged to him. So uh, we'll be able to then determine that and then hopefully backtrack a little bit, see if uh, there's any missing persons reports or anything that, you know, a foul play involved or anything like that. And obviously it's a medical in, uh, examination as well. It may have been natural causes, but we don't know at this point. It may have been natural causes, but obviously, like you said, you know, it's every day you see something like this. Is there anything to point to the fact that he could have been killed and dumped, body hidden? Absolutely. Uh, all those things are on the table. Um, you know, we simply do not know. So at this point, it is speculation. Uh, you know, we always leave those possibilities that there could have been some type of foul play or, or trauma that's not uh, immediately visible to the, to the naked eye. So that'll be explored. And so it could be a range of things. We don't know if there was foul play involved or something happened to him elsewhere and he was placed in a dumpster. All those are possibilities and they have happened in the past. Sheriff, will you guys be going through the rest of the degree to not at this point there's a lot of debris in there uh, just tons of it uh, it's very difficult it was again very fortunate that they came across and were alert enough to spot it because it's it's a busy facility uh, there's been t trucks coming in and out and, and there's just a lot of just piles mounds of debris uh, so it, everything's intermixed uh, because that's part of what they were doing is mixing different batches and 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 moving bigger bigger mounds you know to, to, to just sort it out a little bit so it, it's very difficult to, to find anything else uh, they they did did do a, a search around it but nothing immediately that appear to be related to the body is there anything about the body that makes you believe that it's been here for a while or deceased for a time can you tell us just about initial that? just observations again from the investigator, again, I mean, it'll there'll be a more thorough medical examination. It appears it could have been as early as this morning, so there doesn't to be to be there doesn't seem to have uh, where the body seems fairly intact, uh, and so we're thinking that it was within this morning or perhaps la you know last night. We'll have to kind of again part of the investigation. We'll kind of uh, look at the manifest here in terms of what trucks came, maybe what general areas where they pick up. There's a lot that could be done, but a lot of it will also be kind of, you know, who is this person? Did someone report a missing? You know, what's going on? Is there any way to, way to know what part of the city or what trash area, you know, that, that I know you said manifest, but yeah. there's a lot of trash in there. It's very complicated. I, I've worked on cases like this before, and uh, it, 
in a landfill, it's a little bit different. Here being a transfer station, they'll have to see kind of who comes specifically to deliver here, if it's uh, a municipality or, you know, what, what corridors come to this area. Uh, typically, you know, um, you know, we'll have to see again what, what companies or entities come to drop here drop off and what maybe uh, dumpsters they, they, they service, is it apartment complexes or what areas to, and then try to from there kind of sort it out uh, to then determine what truck and, and time frame and narrow, narrow it down. But uh, again, a lot of it will also depend on, 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 on who this individual was, you know, how did he end up here? Um, you know, again, was he homeless? Was there foul play? What, what was going on with him? Because that might give us a lot of clues as well. Do you have an idea on him? Is he from the Houston area? Did it appear? I, I, I wasn't told specifically if he was in the from the Houston area or not. I don't know what, what, what address it came back to. Commissioner, at this point, this van, his body, was in a dump truck dumped here at this transfer facility is what they're saying. And you say it, it could be as early as this Morning, That's what they think that it could have been, you know, one of the trucks that that that, or maybe I don't know if it was brought here last night or, or brought or just discovered this morning when they started working. Uh, but uh, the initial, it, being that the body's intact and just based on the cursory view of the body, it appears that it's fairly intact. So it appears it could have been as early as this morning, or it's a recent occurrence here. And so it was within the rubbish, and as they were moving rubbish is when they spotted the body and immediately stopped and called authorities, which was the correct thing to do. So uh, again, I'm in the middle of all that de debris and trash bags and things like that, it's just uh, pretty incredible that they found a body. It's he pretty, wasn't wrapped up or tried to be concealed it, or anything it wasn't, like that. It wasn't concealed or anything like that. Is there anything that gives you a time of death? Is there any sort of decay to the body or anything? No, body appears to be intact. So at this point, it, it, there's, it appears to have been a recent occurrence. But again, uh, there's so many factors. That's why there'll be a medical uh, autopsy that'll occur, that'll give us, at this point, it would just be speculation. It just appears to have been fairly recent. Uh, no, no real uh, decay or anything to the body that would tell us it's been here for a long time. And there's a lot of, being that it's a transfer facility, there's a lot of turnover within the debris, I mean, because things are moving out. It's not a, a permanent site where they actually take it to the land. This isn't the landfill per se. It's more of a transfer facility that's one step before they get to a landfill. If we were to put out a description, what would that be? Just uh, appears to be a white male, early 60s, most likely. Um, I believe he has shorts and, and a poss possibly a t-shirt, but that's about all we have right now. And it happened in the yeah, in the, in the warehouse back there, you could almost see the the, the 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 debris from here. It's stacked up pretty high, and they have machinery that's kind of excavating and moving and, and stacking on trucks. There should be trucks that come and then also that leave. Thank you. All right. Thank you.